time for a match. So yeah, we have both black and red. We have a bonkers start if we just draw one more land. So I guess this is a keep. Could go hair into youths if everything comes together. Uh, okay, our opponent will be back soon. I'll pause. Uh, he's back. Okay, blue-white. Yeah, okay, so it could be the blue-white tempo deck. We have the land, which is nice. So we can go, hopefully, turn three, uh, madnessing in the youths and flipping the hair. And then maybe turn four, dead weight something. And play another guy. Let's see. We just need to hope that the hair sticks on the board. It seems like it will. Okay, but then I guess we will not attack with... But I, because I don't want to trade the flying vampire for the Nibelis. I'd rather kill the Nibelis next turn. So this is a sweet little combo. Flipping that. Play a 4-3 haste way too early. I guess I'm only attacking with the 4-3 because I don't want to kill the hair. So next turn <coughs> we can at least kill Nibelis. I hope. Okay, opponent is probably aggro as well. Uh, there is a blue-white tempo deck that usually runs a lot of flyers and this looks like it is that deck. So, yeah. Could be a tough matchup actually. I haven't played any of the decks that much. I would like to try out the blue white uh, tempo deck. Okay, so if we madness, uh, senseless rage, we have a pretty big flyer. Um, and now our opponent doesn't have good blocks. So yeah, it's a race. Hopefully our opponent cannot play more life-gaining flyers because then the race is probably lost for our part. Okay, still have the dead weight, which I like. Uh, okay, so something will be paralyzed. That's bad for us. Okay, how aggressive is the opponent? Okay, super aggro. So we need to both kill something and then play out. What do we do? Hmm, we could go 2-1 and 2-2 two, two and <laughs> keep on racing, I guess. Uh, yeah, it was a good draw. So we can use our mana effective and also go wide. Because, yeah, I guess our opponent has another play. I was going to say it's down to two cards, might be a land or something. Ooh, Odric, okay. That's a good creature. If you can give stuff lifelink, it's very annoying. Hope, let's hope he or she cannot. Everything can get flying, but I guess that doesn't matter that much. Uh, yeah, that's a good draw. I guess I could just attack with everything, pump the guy that goes through and hope it's enough to be able to have my two creatures in hand and play them next turn, depending on how he blocks. Because if Odric dies here, I'm actually going to pump the guy. Yeah, This could be wrong, but... I'm willing to trade for Odric and have this big guy. Because opponent is down to one card. And if it was a removal spell, I guess he should have already played it. So I'm. this is a bit of a chance. But I'm doing it because I have two more creatures to play. Uh, and our opponent will have to stay home now, I think. Because we have <laughs> a 5-2 first striker. And worst case, we can get the zombie guy back so we'll see no okay attacks with one guy but we're still not dead to it and we should yeah okay so now i guess we only because this has skulk 
as well. I mean, maybe not relevant. But we're going to kill the 2-1. And we can play the 3-2 and the 3-3. And the opponent is down to 2. We're not dead to the flyer unless he has a pump spell. Uh, yeah, hopefully this aggressive line worked out. Uh, certainly could punish us. Well, I'm going to discard the horse because if I draw like two lands in a row I can get it back. But hopefully we're not dead in the air here. No, we're not. Okay. So it worked out. But I'm aware it was a bit risky. Which sometimes is correct and sometimes I guess not. Okay, do we have anything that's good to take in? Probably not Kasim because he has a lot of flyers. I don't want to be defensive against him actually. I want to try to run faster because that's the plan with this deck. Uh, we have not yet seen any bounce spells but I guess there could be. Okay, so this is a sketchy keep. But I'm keeping because I have uh, dead weight as a removal, and I could go call uh, call the bloodline line with this hand maybe, just discard stuff hopefully for value if we draw something with madness. But otherwise, just making a one one because we could take one hit from that guy, and then yeah, that was a good draw, uh, and then actually call the bloodline can produce a 1-1 one, one that trades with the fox. So maybe that's the play from here. Keep that weight in hand for annoying flyers and uh, start making vampires. I guess we can, the, depending on the board situation, we could also play like Howl Pack Wolf if, if we turn into the aggressor again. But now it feels like we're on the defensive. Which seems weird to be black, red aggro against white, blue and stay home, but what do you do? Okay, so now we can kill mob and have mana up for call the bloodline, which I think is fine because if the mob gets too big, we don't have that. We don't actually have uh, the unconditional removal for it. I guess fox will stay home, yeah. So now it's time to make vampires. We don't need all these lands. Yeah, and the mangler didn't get any value either. That's nice. Guess we can throw away a swamp. And the question is if we want to throw away the horse or wait until we... It would be nice to draw a madness spell. That's why I'm waiting. Uh, so if we keep the life linker back, it holds the fox away so therefore I, I would be would like to be able to turn it around and start attacking at some point because in the long game I think he will be able to produce enough flyers yeah uncaged fury in combination with uh, and, and this trade I'm not super happy to make it but I will do it and just play another one and have man up to be able to discard. Would I would like to draw uh, something with madness at this point. We have a few options, uh, but we'll see. At it, as it sits now, we can attack. Okay, but that that's nice. Now we drew the madness enabler, uh, nor uh, the madness card, and we already have the enabler. So. Let's make a vampire and get a blocker out that's big enough to actually eat the mangler if our opponent felt like starting attacking. Yeah, that's nice. Uh, opponent seems to be a bit land heavy. We have a, I guess we have discarded lands also, but now we have two beaters and we still can make if we really want to four vampires but I don't think we need to I would like to draw more cards with the voice instead of just discarding it I think uh, the horse can come back later yeah, I guess the swamp can become a vampire and then we have motives if we want to just go for a big swing here yeah call the bloodline 
is really nice sometimes. You could even combo it with, uh, I guess, the skeleton. But also just <laughs> discarding a card with madness and get a vampire. I mean, that deal for one mana <laughs> is pretty good. So I guess I'll pitch the swamp. Just so I have more attackers. Uh, and we have the combat tricks here too. So we could turn a bit more aggressive here. They have a 2-4. Could have bound spells. I guess they could have uh, some sort of trick also. But here I would just like to be able to keep my wolf and kill the 2-4 and then next turn just go for it. This is a bit vulnerable to bounce spell but it still feels like my board is good enough to go for it. Yeah, wolf sticks around. And next turn we also have uncaged fury which could maybe go on the 3-5 or something if we need to. <coughs> Geist without life. Yeah. I guess we can start by attacking. Now I'm just going to send everything because I want to quit this before... Okay, opponent. Ah, it's down to one card. Yeah. Since our deck was sweet and it turned out to be decent. I guess we can just play this out. Uh... Yeah, so this was one match with the deck. The deck worked pretty good. This was the first round, actually. Uh, and uh, in the second round, we I also won 2-0. Two, two then our opponent had a bit of a mana issue, so I did not feel like showing that because it was not that fun. But in the finals, I actually lost 2-1 against the deck uh, <laughs> after first being stuck on three lands but still winning. And then I drew six mountains in a row game two and lost. And then in the final game when I thought I might be able to play seven cards I was mulliganing to five to find only one land. And then got stuck on two and actually died before I played anything uh, relevant. So yeah, did not feel like showing that either because it did not con uh, contain that much gameplay. So, yeah, yeah, it was decent, but it did not go all the way, but at least we got some play from it. Yeah, so see you later for more draft videos. Bye-bye.